the lack of support people get from their close friends, from their circles, from their families, um, dude, that kills more dreams than anything else because that's, that's the traction people were hoping for that never came. And then so what happens is it stops them from going further. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Andrew Lemoyne and welcome to the Get Soul Project. Hey, look, the purpose of this podcast is to help you get sold on yourself. Look, let me tell you something. You're not playing to your full potential, not because of who you are, but who you believe you're not, right? You see, I think the biggest sale that anybody makes in their life is the one to themselves. And I'm just seeing so many people walking around, just not playing, forget to their full potential. All right. None of us are playing to our full potential. Dude, so many of you are not even playing to half of your potential, right? And so, so many people are walking around and they are not sold on themselves. And look, that's the purpose of this podcast. That is the purpose of the Get Sold Project. Hey, look, we just kicked this thing off. You want to show us some love? Help us get this thing out to as many people as you possibly can. Subscribe. Head over to the YouTube page, Andrew Lemoyne. Um, head over to Google Podcasts, Spotify, you know, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen, wherever you watch, show it some love if it brought you any value at all. And look, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was something that so many people go through. And I see this topic talked about a lot, okay? And it's not haters. We're not going to talk about haters, okay? But what I'm going to call out is the fact that strangers are going to show you more love than your friends ever will. And that's fucking weird to say, right? Like, you think about it, and you're like, why? But it's true. It happens. You know, people are jealous, right? People are envious. And what happens with your friends is especially your friends who have known you for a while, especially those lifelong friends, right? And so you take a look at who your friends are on social media. You take a look at who your circles are, right? And start counting how many of them, you know, have you known for a very, very long time. You know, these you go back to high school with these people, right? Don't count on those people to really, really put you on. And look, I'm not saying that none of them will. But I'm saying that probably a very, very small percentage of them are actually going to put you on, actually want to see you win. And look, I'm here to tell you that's their insecurity. Don't let it be yours, okay? Look, they're insecure about themselves, right? They're insecure about where they're at. And so, you know, you drop some fire in a post or you post a video or you start making moves and that makes them feel less important because their shit's broken. They don't have it figured out yet. And let's be real. We've all been there. We've all been there. Everybody's been there, right? Everybody's experienced that where, you know, you're online and you see somebody you know and they're winning. And, you know, you don't get hit with, like, gratitude. You know, you, 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 you're not happy to see them win at first, right? You get this little bit of jealousy inside of you. You know, you get a little bit of a hate. You start feeling like a hater, Okay. It's, it's work to switch that, switch that toggle in your brain, right? Where you could actually look at somebody you know and be so happy for them, you know, grateful for them that they're winning. Like, I'm happy for you. I really mean that. You know, it's so great to see you win. And, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of your friends, they're not there. And so the problem with that is that discourages a lot of people from pushing on. Because people will try to do something. You'll, you'll try to start making moves, right? Whatever that is. Maybe you want to open your own business. Maybe you want to start your own brand, right? Maybe you want to launch a podcast. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to start doing a vlog. And so, you know, you finally work up the courage to start putting, putting yourself out there, right? Pushing out into the universe, pushing out into the world. And you think the people that you know, the people that you love, right? The people who are your friends, the people that you go way back with, you kind of think they're going to put you on, right? So, you know, they're going to see the post. They're going to like it, right? They're going to comment. They're going to share it, and they ain't. They're not going to, right? And that, that's what ends up happening. And it can really fuck with you. It can really get in your head because you're like, what? Like, these are my friends. These are my people, you know? Are they? 
You got to ask yourself that, right? And so um, your day one circles, man, and there's a very, very short, like I could count on, you know, maybe two hands, people that I know in my life that are really, really close to me that actually put me on, right? That, uh, that hype me up and that show me love. Now, my biggest hype, man, is me. Right. And that's the way it's got to be. Like, you got to hype yourself up. You got to be drinking your own Kool Aid more than anyone ever will. But what I want to tell you today is that strangers are going to show you more love, more support than your friends ever will. Okay. Your biggest fan, you haven't met them yet. You're not connected with them yet. The person that's going to put you on the most, you don't even know who they are. Right. You got to think so much outside of your circle, so much outside of your city, outside of your state, your province, wherever you are. You got to just think bigger. And you got to push out into the world, okay? And, you know, you're going to get slack. You're going to get feedback. You got to be cool with that. You know, that, that kind of comes with putting yourself out there. But I will tell you this. You will get more love than hate, okay? And something really funny starts to happen over time when you start making moves and the strangers start to follow you, right? People you've never met start to show you love, right? Start to engage with you, start to engage with your stuff, start to share your message, start to put you on. Sometimes it happens in months, sometimes it happens in years, sometimes it's a decade later. But those friends, those ones today that aren't showing you love, they're not putting you on, they come back, they come back, man. Because here's one thing you gotta know, right? They're watching, they see it all, right? They see it all, you know? Look, I got, I got people that, that follow me that unfollowed me and then followed me, I'm not making this up, under an alias to still check in on what I'm doing, right? And, um, and they, dude, they got fake accounts just to keep tabs. You know, what's LeMoyne doing, right? What's the moves he's trying to make this week? What's he trying to, and here's what happens is when you start to take off and that could take a long time, right? It, you know, it's going to take longer than you hoped, but it'll happen quicker than you ever thought it would, if that makes sense to you. And when you start to, you know, see some success and whatever it is, I'm not talking about one thing, right? Whatever those moves are, for everybody, it's different. You know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a shop, right? Maybe you're trying to get it. Maybe you're trying to get an online store uh, going, whatever. Like as I said, podcast, a book, a business, um, a course, right? A new career path, whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever those moves, you're, you got some next level in your mind you want to get to. So whatever your level is, okay? Um, when these people you don't know really start to put you on, the people you knew the whole time that never did, they start to come back, right? And they start to say things like, yo, Andrew, man, it's so good to see you winning. I always knew you would. You did, eh? You know, oh man, it's so great to see the success that you're seeing. You know, I always knew you were going to win. You know, it's funny, man. I remember six, seven years ago, you weren't showing me any love, right? Any love at all. Pretty sure you, uh, you unfriended me. Uh, but it's all love from this side, brother, sister. Thank you so much. Um, but that's what ends up happening, right? They come back and because they never stopped following, right? They just never started loving. And so they'll find a way to start showing you some love in time. But this isn't about them. This is about you. And so what you got to do is you got to find a way to push through and keep pushing on. And you got to go into this with no expectations. Whatever that move is, you got to go into it with no expectations from the people that you know. Because you're set, I'm here to tell you you're setting yourself up for failure if you do. If you go into it with expectations of support, right, that these people are going to support you. And if it happens, it's amazing. And if, if so much of your circle supports you, well, man, you got, you, that's rare. That's very, very rare, okay? But good, I'm happy for you if it did. But if they don't, don't say I didn't warn you, right? Don't go in it with expectations. You're setting yourself up for failure. And so the lack of support people get from their close friends, from their circles, from their families, um, dude, that kills more dreams than anything else because that's, that's the traction people were hoping for that never came. And then so what happens is it stops them from going further, right? It actually stops you from pushing on because you went in it with this false set of expectations that these people over here are going to support you. 
okay? You got to go into it like they're not, right? Now, listen, don't yourself turn into a hater. Because do not mix my words up here. Don't mix this message up. I'm not saying hate on those people. Do you want to show those people love? You want to talk about power? You want to talk about self-control? You want to talk about mindset? Okay? Have a mindset to be able to show people love that don't show you any. And, and guess what? That's not easy. That is not easy. Right? Because, you know, the reaction is usually like, you know, it's tit for tat. It's reciprocity. Right? So, like, why am I going to show this person love? Who doesn't show me love, right? But I do. And so those same people that follow my stuff, those same people that watch from the sidelines, right, that don't put me on, I'll put them on, right? I'll put them on. That's for me, not for them, right? And so you got to take the same approach, right? Like you have to show them love even when they're not showing you love, right? Because you don't want to turn into the very hater that you hate. And that can happen very easily. You know, that can happen very easily. Look, half the fucking people online that are talking about haters are the biggest haters I've ever heard of. Just so you know, right? Half the people, all they want to talk about is haters, my haters, you know, love my haters. Bro, you're the biggest fucking hater I've seen online, okay? All this guy, girl talks about is they're haters. You know, they're focused. That's what you're focused on. They're focused on haters. Guess what they are? They're a fucking hater. They're hating on someone, you know? Don't be a hater, right? Show yourself love and even show the people that hate on you love, man. So look, the strangers are going to put you on more than your friends ever will. And you got to know that, right? The world is a big place. So you got to break your mind out of this little circle that you live in today, this life that you have today, this, this company you're at, right? The city you grew up in, the circle of friends that you're with, okay? There's so much more out there. And whatever the message is, whatever the move is, that level that you want to chase, look, there's people out there that will support you, okay? So don't think just because this circle over here won't. I'm here to tell you the circle over here is a fucking microscopic speck compared to the people out there in the world, right? And so your people are out there. If you're not already connected with them, they are out there. You got to go find them, right? You got to start pushing your message out there, right? So look at the year we just went through. It's 2021. You know, so many of you have commitments, right, that you want to start pushing out this year. You want to start making moves, right? You want to start pushing your message out into the world, whatever that message is. And I know so many of you are going to get stuck in your tracks for what I just told you because you're going out with this expectation of support for these people, right? Dude, you got to keep pushing through it. They're not probably not going to support you, okay? They one day will. But you're going to go out there and you're going to find your people. You're going to find a way to get your message out there. And you're going to get support. It's not going to happen overnight. It might. It probably won't. Okay? Something else. Don't go out there with the expectations that you're going to get love and support overnight. You probably won't. If you do, I'm happy for you. Okay? But you got to keep pushing, right? you gotta, you got to keep on pushing and go out there and find your people. Find your click. Find your niche. Right? They're out there, man. And there's a lot more people that are going to show you love than that they're going to show you hate. Hey, yo, look, this is the Get Soul Project. Look, this is a project of mine that I've wanted to kick off for like five, six years, right? And I had to get out of my own way. I had to actually prioritize this project myself. You know, we shot the first episode of this thing a year ago and then COVID happened. And then I went into survival mode to just, to, you know, all I was focusing on was making sure that our company survived, right? And, you know, we, we didn't just survive, we thrived through it, okay? Because I just shut everything else off, Right? I shut every single piece of, you know, content, other side project that I wanted to push, this brand, I just shut it all off and I went into survival mode. And so I'm happy to really kick this thing off, right? I believe in it. I'm passionate about it. You know, it took me about eight years to really, really get sold on myself. Because until you're super sold on yourself, on your own ability, right, until you've got that conviction for your, your potential, okay, you're never going to make the jump. And like I played, I sat on the sidelines for like eight years, right? And, um, and just couldn't get out of my own way. Couldn't get out of my own head, right? And, um, and look, I got sold. And it was almost like a, 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 a aha moment for me, right? Like it was like the light bulb went off. Like you just woke up one day and you're like, yo, I could do this. I got this. I'm going to make this move.
right? I don't have it all figured out, but I'm gonna make the move. And you know, what was that moment, right? I'm like, dude, that was the moment I got sold. That was the moment that I got sold on myself. I said, look, Andrew Lemoyne's gonna be someone. I'm gonna start making moves. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna open this company. We're gonna do this, this, and this. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going for greatness, right? This is what I'm shooting for. And so I got sold. And so look, this is the Get Sold Project because I wanna get you sold on you, okay? It's you versus you. Hey man, show this some love. Like I said, get over to the YouTube page, follow us. My name's Andrew Lemoyne. I'll see you next week. And this is the fucking Get Sold Project.